Hey there, Graham. Hey, Brazil. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining for another hand. Uh, Graham, I got an interesting hand. Uh, the Royal members over at Skybridge Club played recently, and there was a, a real split between people who did really well and people who didn't. And so I wanted to put you in the hot seat and also grab the chance to be able to sit on your shoulder, ask you some questions about it. Sure. All right, let's jump in. Here we go. Cool. Look at that. Two clubs. So a quick review. What what is that two club opening bid tell us? That's a strong hand, and if you're uh, it's forcing the game, except in very rare circumstances, uh, players tend to be doing it on weaker hands than in the old days. But uh, normally that would be. They're supposed to be 23 points. Some standard players are bringing that down a touch. Uh -huh. But it's still, it's still a strong hand. doesn't say anything about the glove suit. Nothing about shape, nothing about suit. At least 23 points at, at SPC or maybe a little bit less, depending if you're playing somewhere else. Sure, you, you might. Your system might be the two players and just some unbalanced 20-point hand or something. Okay. But either way. So uh, two clubs, I can't pass. I'm not, we've, we've certainly got, got enough to go to game. In fact, we have to go to game because North Open two clubs. But there's no, I'm, I'm not going to give a positive response here because I want to be a touch stronger to bid three clubs or, or two no trumps. A positive response would suggest that we might, that I'm interested in the slam and I'm not, Quite sure yet. So, how do you avoid giving a positive response? I can bid two diamonds, which is the negative bid, and that shows naught to six, seven points, something like that. Has nothing to do with your shape. It's just about your weak strength. Right. Uh, and I'd want a, I'd want a, an ace or a couple of kings or something to give a positive response. Not just one. Not just a king and a queen and a jack. What would so it? No what would it tell partner? So, like, if um, if I had hints off, I I would be confused about how to respond to a two club opening bid, um, and I might just say, okay, well, I'm going to bid my best suit. What would a three club bid tell partner? Well, three clubs would show clubs. It would just be a slightly stronger hand, um, you know eight points or an ace and a king or a, okay. this is strong. This is close. It's close to a positive, but just not quite enough. There's no rush. Um, often, most of the time, whenever a partner bids two clubs, your common response is two diamonds, unless you've got something really good to say. Uh -huh. So two diamonds, two no trumps. All right, so how strong is that? Well, if partner had 20 to 22 points, 21 points, something like that, uh, he would have opened two no trumps. So by bidding two clubs and then bidding two no trumps, North mm. is saying that he was too strong to open two no trumps in the first place. Mm. So that means that North is going to be around 23, 24 points. And a balanced hand. And a balanced hand. So I've got six high card points, and North has got, let, let's say, 24, 23, 24. So we've got around about 30 points between the two hands. 30 points is close to slam, but not really enough. You want for, for two balanced hands. 33 points, 32 points is kind of normal to bid mm. six trumps. So I'm just a touch light. Um, I could bid four no trumps here, which would be an invitational bid. It would be saying, uh, um, there might be slam, but I'm not sure. You decide. Uh, in the same way that one no trump, two no trumps invites partner to game, mm. two no, four no trumps invites partner to slam. Partner doesn't know anything about your shape. No. Right. 
Correct. But he would if I bid for no trumps because I'd be kind of saying I'm a balanced hand. Uh -huh. uh, but six, you know, six points and partner's got 23, 24. It's still only 29 or 30 points. There's mm. enough. It's really, I'm just not that keen. Mm. So I'm just going to bid three no trumps. I'm sure that lots of people bid six no trumps here. And that's okay. Uh -huh. But I'm not for me because it's enough. And let's count our tricks. We've got three spade tricks. We've got two heart tricks, so that's five. We've got the ace king of diamonds, so that's seven. And we've got some work to do in the club suit. We we might make. We're not going to make five club tricks. We might make four club tricks, or we might make three club tricks. So I'm actually pretty happy in my three no trump contract. Mm. Unless something really amazing happens, on three no trumps is going to be high up. And so, what's your what's your strategy going to be playing this hand? Uh, I'm going to pick my long suit and I'm going to keep on playing it. Mm. I'm I've always got the three spade tricks anytime, and I've always got two heart tricks anytime. You don't need a rush to cash them in, right? The way to get extra tricks is by playing clubs. And because we've got eight clubs between the two hands, the opposition only have five. So let's say mm. the most likely distribution of the opposition's club suit is three in one hand and two in the other hand. So if I just keep playing clubs, even if I lose the lead, eventually, the opposition opposition will run out of clubs, and my last clubs will be winners. And you have stoppers in the three other suits, so whatever they lead, you win, and you keep playing clubs. Keep playing clubs, yep. And I need to do that. I need to play the clubs while I've still got stoppers in the other suits. If right. I play all the spades now and the diamonds and the hearts and then play clubs, I'm never going to get the lead back. Right. Don't cash your winners yet. Right. So uh, I'll just play some clubs. Now I, I'm going to play the queen and hope that East has got the king of clubs. Uh, I could play low and hope that West has only got this singleton king left, but it's more likely that East has got the king, so I'll play that. Oh, there you go, too bad. Okay. Has there been um, a reason to, so we just talked about not wanting to play your shore winners yet, but to um, play to the king of hearts so that you could lead towards the ace of clubs? Is there a chance, like, uh, or is it too risky because they could keep leading hearts? Well, it wouldn't have done us any good because if I'd been in this hand and played a small club towards the, the ace, to yeah. clear, to clear uh, West wasn't going to suddenly pop up with the king of clubs. It still West wouldn't. was going to play like. And more okay. importantly, I need that king of clubs as an entry. Right, right. That king of hearts is really important. That king of, did I say club? Sorry, king of hearts. I need that king of hearts as an entry. So That's I can your only entry to South Hand. Right. So I can, I'm going to play another club now, which I'll lose. Okay, so West did have a club. And now, um, I can. When that, uh, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to take my spades now before I cross to the heart. And then poor East and West are going to have a little bit of a stressful time here when I take those last two club tricks.
And I think that actually was the the key difference between the people who did well playing the hand and the people who didn't. It came down to who saved that entry to South hand. Right. I'm remembering correctly. So, yeah, this this club suit is very important. It's playing it. Uh, imagine I could get the lead in the south hand. It wouldn't do me any good because if I played the queen of clubs, north would have played the king on it, forcing me to use my ace. So I would never have made it extra trick playing it that way. And you would have spent your only entry to south hand. Right. So, hmm. uh, important here, I think, too, not just to cast our minds back. Just because partner's got 23 or 24 points, 23, 24 plus 6, it's only 30. And you really want to be stronger than that with two balanced hands to play in a slam contract. Hmm. You know, it's kind of, this, we've talked for five, ten minutes about this hand, but... It's, um, bridge is kind of simple, you know. You always say that, Graham. <laughs> well, look, just 25 points per game. Yeah. 33 points per slam. Those, that's your basic guideline. We didn't have 33 points, so we stopped in game. That's mm. a bit easy. Mm. When you're a declarer, how do you play, you know, how do you play the hand? You normally just mm. play your long through. And that's all we did. We stopped oh, really? and we played our long suit and we ended up with a fine score. Right. Bridge is easy. Right. Stick to the basics. Stick to the basics, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Ah, cool. Well, thank you, Graham. You make it look easy. It, it, it's easy, Bajir. <laughs> well, thanks for leading us through it. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, wherever you find this video, we will include a link to play it down below, and until next time. Thanks all, see ya.